In this video, we're gonna learn about basics of permutation and combination, rule of sum and rule of product. Let's start with rule of sum and rule of product. If you're performing two experiment, one experiment is having possible outcome of n, another experiment is having possible outcome of n. Now, in both the experiments, if you're just taking or exactly one of this experiment takes place, both of these experiments are distinct from each other, only one is taking place at a time, then possible outcome will be addition of these experiments, that is m plus n. This is called as a rule of sum, where we are performing just summation of our experiment outcome values. And another case is that, where your experiments are dependent uh, on each other, and where both the experiments are taking place at the same time then the possible outcome in next case will be m into n if you are having two experiments this is called as a rule of product and if you are having more than one experiment in that case we just multiply outcome of each and every experiment now these are the basics of rule of sum and rule of product in simple word rule of sum is used when you are having or between the two experiments and rule of product is used when you are having and between the two experiments when means all the experiments are taking at the same time let's take one example of rule of sum and rule of product suppose a boy lives at x and he wants to go to a school which is located at z point now the scene is that from his home x he has to first reach a middle point that is y and then from that middle point he will go to the school that is z now he may go to a uh, middle point from his home that is x to y by either using three bus routes or two train routes from there he can either choose four bus routes or five train routes to reach his school that is z now how many ways are there to go from x to y x to z now the solution for this is we will just break down this whole thing into smaller parts we have to go from x to z and uh, for going from x to z we are having some middle point that is x to y and y to z now for going from x to y we are having options of uh, two routes that is three bus or two trains so we will just simply use the rule of sum that is 3 plus 2 will be the possible outcome that means for going from x to y we will have total five ways and after that from middle point to going to the school we are having option of four bus routes or five train routes here we are having or means option is or either you can take this or this so in that case we will again use the rule of sum so for going from y to z we will have options of 4 or 5 4 plus 5 that will be 9 ways now the final answer will be how many ways are there to go from x to z now in that case for going from x to uh, z we have to pick the middle route that is x to y and y to z we can't skip uh, any of this we must go from x to y and y to z this both the options are compulsory now to find all of the possible ways we will calculate what are the po possible values of x to y and what are the possible values outcome of y to z and we will use product of this two outcomes that is rule of product so hence from x to z we can go in 5 into 9 ways which we already calculated x to y and y to z ways that is 5 into 9 ways so it will coming out to be 45 ways so the final answer is 45 ways are there to go from x to z to that particular part now what is the permutation and combination suppose we will just directly take a, a simple example suppose we have to select from a group of brilliant student that is you are having group of three brilliant student a b c and from that group you just have to select two students so how you will select these two students i just initially given with like you just have to select the two students no further additional information is given or no order information about any order is given so in this case i will just simply choose only two two uh, persons at a time i can choose uh, student a b or b c or ac means in total i will have three ways so 
here i am just calculating possible ways without considering any order like which student i have picked for the first time or which i have chosen for the second time i am just picking two students from the group of three so this is called as a combination it's a kind of selection now further if you will just add on into this particular statement like uh, you have to select two students from a group of 3 but in that your order of selection does matters means which student is selected for the first place or which is selected on the second place it it matters so again what we will have for this three ways we will again have different possibilities means now for selecting ab again i will be having two choices like a will come for the first time and b will be having second place in this case also next possibility is that b will occur at the first position and a will occur at the second position means for this each individual values of ways without considering order if i will consider the order i will again get the two two choices so in total i am having six possible ways in which you are finding the possible ways in which uh, your selection your uh, students are selected from a team of 3 and where order of your uh, student selection does matters so this kind of uh, thing is called as a permutation so in simple word we can conclude that combination is just the selection of any uh, particular element from a group of element and permutation is arrangement of the element in other words uh, we can also say combination is uh, possible ways without considering order of selection and permutation is possible ways with consideration of order of selection